Hello everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. You know you're already part of the way. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. We out here with another wig. This one is old. <laughs> and I it was doing this cute thing, right? And then I put the heat on it and it's like blop. Oh, well, it's going to do what it do. I just didn't feel like having no bang in my face today. And I still need my hair to be flat because I got a witch hat to put on tomorrow. Nope, Monday, which is Halloween. So today is the 29th. Yeah, that makes sense. On a Saturday, and y'all see this pile of laundry. Can y'all see my drawers? Wait a minute. Mm. We got a pile of laundry <laughs> back here that I need to separate. It is 1.30, y'all. It is 1.30. Let me explain why it's 1.30 and you're just seeing my face because... For me, when I edit, if I get up first thing in the morning and edit videos, it's the best thing for me. And that's what I chose to do this morning. I got up, I was up at like 7, started editing a video at like 8 or 9, and wasn't done till like 12-ish, okay? Um, that's how it be. So I edited two videos, uploaded one of them. The other one needs some more. It's done editing, technically, but it needs some information on like people and stuff like that entered in and then once that's done then I can upload that but I want to do my laundry I haven't eaten yet which is kind of normal for me on a Saturday um but I do you know what I do want to do today I would like to put up the rest of the fall decor not fall decor child. yes actually I want to put up the rest of the fall decor in the kitchen and then I want to put up a little bit of Halloween decor on the console table and just be done. So I'm debating whether I want to put up the Halloween decor for the kitchen. Because technically Halloween is a couple days. Or do I put it up, put up the fall and then switch it out. I'm very confused. This is why I really should have had fall up a long time ago. But it's new to me. I'm a first time homeowner. Over here we do budgeting and first time homeowner type shit. What was I about to say? Because I know I'm about to cuss shenanigans maybe stuff we do <laughs> homeowner stuff and um, I think that the first time doing it has been very confusing anyway that's enough talking I'm going to do uh sortation out these clothes and finally head downstairs for the day but I think the first thing I do want to do is get that kitchen fall decor video up and out the way because I might just launch it this weekend and then when we will do the mirror section on our own because I'm not making a whole video out of that it's probably going to be a short like I did with the front door but y'all got to see me in a y'all will see me in a vlog doing the front door just like y'all will see me doing the console table area but it ain't finna be a whole new video I hope that made sense. Okay, guys. And I also need to paint my nails. I need to figure out what we're wearing for Halloween. Not big on Halloween. I don't like scary and stuff like that. But I do love it for the kids and the candy. <laughs> and I'm going to be a witch. But I just need an all-black outfit. So I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. Well, all-black outfit. I got lots of black. And I got to finish painting my fingernails. This fingernail has been painted since last Sunday. And it was painted with Dollar Tree item. You guys, let me get my face out of it so y'all can really see. Dollar Tree items. Look how good that nail is still looking. There is no chips or nothing. I mean, excuse me. Had I known, I would have painted them all last Sunday and still been living my best life. But anyway, <laughs> time to this laundry. Oh, I'm watching my girl from head to curve. Look at my cat. Listen, I can't wait to move upstairs. It's such a mess. So from head to curve, she went to Sephora to pick up some stuff. But look at my counter. It's like, boy. And it's not just, it's not just there. It's there and here. Like, I cannot wait. Look at my bathroom looks crazy, guys. Like, my bathroom. I need to get my whole life together. And did y'all see that double chin? So I went to that event on Friday. Y'all would have probably saw that haul already, that vlog already. And if you saw the pictures that I took, my face was like this in all the pictures that I took, that someone took of me. And I was like, oh, 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 sometime this weekend, we need to make it to the gym because we need to go check out a gym. We got to go back to the gym. This is unacceptable behavior. We cannot know. It's not okay. I'm not bashing nobody. 
who's got a chubby face, a thick weight, all of that, that's fine. It's not healthy for me, sis. It's not healthy for me. I don't want two chins. I just want one. I want, I want it like this. I want my cheekbones to be popping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Girl, anyway, let me get to this laundry. I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Hey, y'all. So I'm finally downstairs, and the water is um, filling up for the warm wash clothing. Uh huh. So I'll add my detergent in, as y'all know I do, after the water is up. But in the meantime, in between time, we need to clean up the kitchen because... I think trying to do a deep clean while trying to decorate it is going to be way too much because I don't fully have a vision for it. So I'm going to dry up these dishes here. Um, now, well, they're dry. They've been sitting there since when we did it. And then there's a few dishes in the sink to wash. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to take out in here and wash that. And then I'm going to probably... Only thing I'm gonna do in the video is probably take off the counters and wipe the counters down. I'm probably going to clean the stove as well. So uh, let me start putting things away. Let's get that going while I wait for the water to come up to level on our warm wash clothes. <laughs> Um, the, my friend, remember I told you I had given them lunch? They bought back my container. It looks clean. I don't know why it's right here. But I'm going to wash it again because cause I'm me. So I'm going to wash these out and dry these. And then I'm going to, oh no, let me get this stuff out of the air fryer to wash as well. But once I get that all out, this is what it looks like before. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after.
my sister called me and so that's why you didn't see the rest of the cleaning of the stove but the stove is clean and put back together i've already put the things back in the air fryer look the sink is the oh i need to wash the sink out that's not clean yet but these are all back air fryer is cleaned out there mm, what's that sorry the fryer is cleaned out cleaner than it was before and I think I'm going to move all the decor items back onto the table so I have less things to move off the counter and wipe because the only thing I have to do left is wipe down. I actually cleaned off the microwave as well and I had already washed out the container that's in there. So yeah, I'm about to, oh, I changed out the, the clothes that were in the washer, put them in the dryer and then put a new load waiting for it to come up so I can add some soap and all that. But I'm about to stop this video so I can record the video of me styling the kitchen, which honestly, I, I don't really think there's going to be much to do. <laughs> so I don't see where I could do much. So I just want to get it done, though. I don't want all these decor to be sitting here and then we didn't use it for the season. That will upset me. So let me start working on that video and clearing everything off. And I'll be back with you guys when that's done. Hey y'all, so I just finished the kitchen. It came out okay. I don't know. I think I'm praying that I will get better as I go at this decorating for seasons thing. And if I don't, y'all know I will just won't do it. <laughs> I just won't do it. Um, but I do like it. It looks very fall in here right now. And then I'll probably do another one where I do a short and change it to Halloween because it's not going to take much. It's literally a cup and a spoon rest that's being changed out and maybe some pumpkins but i'm done with that it is now 4 4 15 and i haven't eaten a thing yet and i actually feel it in my mouth that i'm super thirsty i wanted to take myself on kind of like a solo date um like a day out but now i feel like just ordering not ordering food going to go pick up some food and coming home and eating because I am done. The laundry is still going. Like, the, I'm sorry, the laundry is pretty done. The one load is finished and the dryer just finished. So, but I think I need to go get my um, food. Look at this tie. 222, bro. 222? 222? Which is great. 22. And guess who doesn't know how to fix her time? Me. My sister fixed it for me last time she was here. But it's already for something and I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. So. There are these boxes over here that need to break down and whatnot. Maybe when I get some food in my system, I will feel a little better. But right now, I'm done. The kitchen is clean. It's nicely done. I'm excited about that. But I am not. Why am I down here? I'm not. I don't want to. <laughs> anyway, I'm done talking, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. Uh, when I, just start, I don't even know what I want to eat. That's just the sad part. I hate when I don't know what I want to eat, but I'm hungry. Hey, so y'all know I was hungry, so I came out to this black home business I've never tried, and it's called Sweet Sadie Mays Quality Food Service LLC, Satisfies Country Cooking. I've been having a, I feel like I've been having a lot of barbecue type things, country type things lately, but I really wanted to try, I don't know, I'm on my support of black business week right now, and I hope it's good because your girl is hungry and it's almost five o'clock, so I'll let you guys see what I got when I got home. I just got normal stuff, like things I feel like you should not mess up like wings and things like that so i will make sure what kind of driving is this at <laughs> wings and mac and cheese and collard greens so we'll see what it look like and then we'll see what it tastes like i'll talk to y'all later okay guys so i'm home and i'm ready to eat y'all it's 5 11 and i paid i think 16 dollars and five cents i got a drink I got 10 pieces of wings, mac and cheese, and collard greens, which I normally pay about the same without the drink for the wing hut place that I like, that I get the 10 wings and the, the fried rice set. So let's see what it looks like. Hefty, hefty, hefty. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. So these are their Thai chili wings. And... Ooh, that mac and cheese looks good, and so does that collard grain. Okay! I might have my new little wing spot, and... 
and I'll be able to support a black owned business at the same same time. Same dang time. Who's that? I wouldn't be mad about that at all. I wouldn't be mad about that at all. Don't even Lord, we don't even know what's going on over there. <laughs> My whole house needs a, a good like clean and put away. Anyway, we're not about to talk about that. I'm about to eat this food before it gets cold. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm still doing laundry. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna eat my food first. What's going on has already stopped. So I'm about to just chill, light my candle, turn the TV on and eat, and then I'll go back to the laundry. Okay, y'all. I ate it all. It was good. Excuse me. So my review on that food was I would go buy it again. Things I like, things I didn't love. No, I'm a reviewer. But the collard greens are cooked perfectly, not too hard, not too soft, just the right amount of chew for me. And they were a tad bit spicy, but not like burn your mouth off spicy. And that might not even been them because I got Thai chili wings and it could have been that. The other thing is that I noticed they didn't use any kind of meat like a turkey, ham, bacon, nothing in it. But that could be because they wanted to be a vegan option. Um, the mac and cheese was good as well. Um, it, I'm used to, I like my mac and cheese to keep, be like more sticky together. I don't know if that makes sense. More cheesy kind of things. It was cheesy, but it was more like separate, not grainy separate, but like a little more separate. It was still good. And the wings were delicious. The wing sauce was delicious. The wings were cooked internally perfectly, not dry. They're really good. One thing I would ask for next time is that they, um, fry them a little bit harder because I don't like wings when the skin is a little soggy. I know there was sauce on it and everything, but it was a little tiny bit soggy, but didn't stop me from eating it. Not that soggy and the inside was cooked perfectly. So next time I would go, cause I would go back, I'd be like, can you just fry my heart, my wings a little harder? But I just thought you guys would want to know what my thoughts were, but yeah, it was good. I think I've got a new little place to try. All right, I do have to finish the laundry, but I'm just going to chill and let my food digest. I've got those wonderful, yummy snacks from the other day that I can eat that I got from that pop-up shop. So excited. Hey, everybody. So I finished eating, rested for a little bit. I just came to put the lap. So it's getting the water in there. And then once it's full, I put this in. There's a, just like three pieces in the washer dryer. And then I've got some clothes over there that are freshly out of the dryer that are warm that I'm about to fold in. I'm almost done with laundry. It's 7-Eleven. 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 It's 7-Eleven. Almost done with laundry. I don't like to bring laundry into day two. I like to just be done. So I think I just needed to eat and get some food in my system. So that's where we're at, y'all. So let me finish folding these up while they're still warm and i just wanted to check in with you guys let you know that i was finishing up the laundry we might work on that tomorrow and we also still need to paint that bird picture so it can be a frame for that printout we got from walmart so i feel like there's always something to do and i need to take out the talking to y'all sometimes talking to y'all is very helpful i'm like dang i don't think i took out the ground beef because i want to make tacos tomorrow and that's gonna be real hard without the ground beef hmm trying to figure out what else is in here we can do Ooh, excuse me there are some chicken thighs. I'm going to take the chicken thighs out too. Because we could throw those in the air fryer. And we got lots of broccoli and vegetables that we can pair with that. And we already have. Oh. What's this stuff called? We already have um, rice. We definitely have rice. Only thing I might have to buy is maybe some more. Turn off the wrong light. <laughs> buy some more. Stop, chair. We may have to buy some more, like, lettuce and salsa to put in the tacos. But I think we have wraps. I have to see how many I have. We. I have wraps. <laughs> All right. 
Anyway, that's it, y'all. Just was checking in. So I wanted to show y'all that pop-up shop that I went to. I'm sure you guys have already saw this on a vlog. Uh, it's a strawberry shortbread cheesecake crunch. I'm about to have this for dessert. I don't know if this is more than one serving or not, but one serving today. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how rich it is and if it will be more than one. It has a cover. I can always put it back. But let me let me fold up these clothes first, right? Good morning, everybody. Everybody. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. It's how I know what day it is. The day before I have to go back to work. It's Sunday. It's 8.33. I've been up since 7. But I sit in my bed for a while. Sit by myself. Talking to the moon. Y'all know I can't sing. But, you know, if I could, I would love to serenade y'all. However, it's time to get the day started. So, this is what's under the wig right now. It looks crazy. But, let's start our day. I've already spread my bed. Okay, I've had my shower. And I am going to, we're going to put away some clothes. The clothes that we washed yesterday, they're dry. We folded them. They're going to get put away. So I'm taking some oil and getting in there. Because although your hair is under lay wig, you still need to make sure it's not lay dry. this one higher they're gonna be cousins today <laughs> and then I put on some eyeliner and all that is pretty much all I do every day if I can remember because something about a good liner and oh tart man eater ain't out here eating no man i'm just saying it's decent <laughs> okay am i the only one and when you put on your eyeliner or you mean your mascara your mouth gotta be open look at those glamorous grays what y'all ain't ready i always wish i had like a cool streak like i see someone in i'm like dang no nah, mine all over I've been having grace since I was twins. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, that's enough. It's Sunday. All right, and then we just gonna pull, 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 pull. Pop on the, um, this thing here, that cap. We got about four minutes and we almost ready. <laughs> I love it. I love a good, quick, get ready. Now, I don't know. I guess it's gonna line up. We gonna see. Um, and here is the wig, the very old, old wig. We actually need to put back the packaging. It's a very old wig. Bro, I've had this wig for years. But I've always loved the bob. So if I feel like if I was to ever cut or straighten my hair again, this is what I'm doing. Yesterday I put some heat on it, which I shouldn't have, because it was doing this cute little flip back thing, and now it's just funky straight. I want to see if maybe I could add a roller and drop it in some heat and see if it'll come back. I forgot this is like a super old wig, and Tara, this is not that baking hair or whatever. But she alright, she's a good man. She's a good man. I have to cut that off. 
that is the strategy. So just like that, you look like somebody, somebody, somebody. There was a little bit of makeup on this yesterday, but I can't find, I don't think I have, I can't find my powder. So I've just kind of been using, I'm just kind of using the regular foundation. This is what I got. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. So we've been here for six minutes and twenty-three seconds. And we are ready for the day. There's a little jammy jam. That I don't know why I bother because <laughs> your braids are like my braids. <coughs> Excuse me, they don't pop braids. <laughs> girl, you funny, girl. You can try it, but you funny, sis. That is not gonna work for us. Well, some people try though. Okay. And we did, and we did, and we did, 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 did. I wish I had endless space, you guys. I would take y'all around with everything. And we're ready. Okay, so next things next, we got to put away the laundry. I'm not sure I took everything out that basket. So, oh, I don't have my little stand up here, so I don't know where I'm gonna prop you guys up at. And I need that out of my laundry because I need my laundry basket back. We need to take some time and clean this bathroom. Ooh. So I'm doing the laundry basket. All right. I don't know where I'm going to pop you guys up at because, oh, maybe I could go right here. I don't have my hand held to me. Oh, that can work. Get slow. All right, everybody, everything is put away now. This, when I was putting stuff away, oh, this needs to go downstairs. I washed it, we took it out of the kitchen. Now, <laughs> I remembered that I have to pick an outfit for my witch costume, so we're gonna try on outfits in a bit. This is hair stuff, this is the wig boxes came out, so I'm gonna put, and this is um, sheets, the pillowcases for the guest bedroom, so I'm about to put all of those in there. And we'll be back to try on outfits. So excited. I didn't realize how many stockings I have. Um, and I think I just want to wear these booties. I have two options for booties that I will three. But we'll we'll see. I thought I was opening the window for a little light. It's not gloomy out there. But let me show you the options. And then I'll show you them try it on me. I thought I had two other shoe options up here. Is that better? Not really. I thought I had two of the shoe options up here, but I only have one. The other two must be downstairs, but that's cool. Um, first, it's just a mock neck midi dress, long sleeve, and then most will probably have this belt on. And this one, I kind of like the airy fairy kind of vibe of it. It's a collared like mesh. It's from Dodds. Oh my God, y'all remember Dodds? This dress is old. With like mesh but it has its own lining and everything so work appropriate this is the boots that we have to try with all of them they are super comfortable super comfortable and this is a little bit you know <laughs> a little more hmm we're sexy witch vibe but of course that is a polka dot sheer i think this is from lane bryant yep a long time ago and then there's a shirt to go under it, of course because it's work and this faux leather i feel like she's more trendy and then that's just a plain black dress that we put the belt around. And that's just a turtleneck option to go with this in case I'm like, nah, we can't wear that to work. So those are our options. I can't, you guys, can y'all hurry up and get me to 1K, please? Because I would have totally done this on a live. And then we could all just chimed in. And I would have known what you really liked. Now I got to really pick it out by myself. So <laughs> these are stocking options. Gray and black. Why do I have so many stockings? I really kind of want to wear this one just because it's got the... You know, 
the the like design on it but i don't know if the gray is gonna throw it off and then for a second there i thought my wing was up and i was like I just put it on and then i just have some regular control pantyhose and some other pantyhose they're black um but i have so many and i never wear them that if i pick the black one i might purposely put a run in them just so they're like they give that witchy vibe but i'm gonna try the gray ones on first because this is really what i want to go with but i think it might throw me off all right let me stop talking Remember that time I was like, I would do this on the live? Girl, if you can insert that two hours later comeback vibe, because I, these stockings, these boots, <laughs> took me like 20 minutes to get on, and they weren't even tight at all. Anyway, let's get to the outfit. My Jerry Rig situation, but this is what we got. When we get to the room, clearly we need a mirror. <laughs> so this is the dress and the stockings. In the booties um I like it I'm wondering if I should put the black on the black stockings on if y'all I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to put on no more stockings but this is giving me cute chic I don't have any shape wear on so this is listen I don't really want to put on any shapewear along with no stockings, to be honest, because, listen, this dress is so cute. How about, I don't think I've worn this but one time. Why? I look so cute. What it, what it was wrong with me? Anywho, option one. Okay. Outfit number two. Super easy to go on. Really love the bit of lace vibe. Gives me that witchy, feminine, lacy vibe. And it, to me, is a little bit shorter. I think I would definitely wear, like, full black tights with this. The back's not horrible, but, you know, we're going to work, you know? So the full opaque black tights would probably be a better vibe with this. Um, but I like this. It was easy to go on. <laughs> And the belt is cute, but it does have one major flaw. And honestly, you can't tell because I have the belt on. But if the belt slips or I take it off, you'll be able to see that it's actually, that's how far up them tights go, y'all. That's <laughs> how far up these stockings go. But you'll see that there's a hole miss. There's a hole missing. There's a button missing. And I did just actually go in one of my drawers and find some buttons. I found some buttons that I could probably sew on real quick. I don't know if they're big enough. They might work. But I don't know where the thread is. <laughs> this is why you can't have an organized house. Like, I should have a station that has thread. Even a safety pin would have been good right now. Why don't I have any of these in one spot? Because I haven't moved on to the upstairs yet. That's why. But, uh, But I'm going to figure something out because I really like this. I really like this. So y'all can see up close. It's super cute. Very work appropriate. It's a little on the shorter side. But with some black opaque tights which I have right here. I could definitely pull it off or put some actual tights underneath it. But okay, on to the next. This is another quick, easy switch up. It's one of my favorite dresses. It's long enough, clearly. It's got pockets. I usually don't wear it with a belt. It's long in the back as well. These boots are so comfy. I think I got them from Marshalls, like in Jersey when I lived there. This is, I think, a low Lord and Taylor dress I got on sale. So cute, so comfy. It's just giving me everyday vibes, though. I don't know. Something about the lace dress is giving me like a little feminine witchy. I mean, all of them are gonna look cute because they're gonna have a hat on, but that's an option. I like it. Okay. You guys, I like this one too. However, this is this is my problem. I stay. I didn't take my eyes when I think. Yes, I did. Um, I stay with something wrong with something in my wardrobe. I'm like, why don't I wear this shirt? I could absolutely just wear a shirt underneath it. But y'all, and I, I don't know. Let me turn. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to tell. Feel not. But in the back there, is no buttons back there. I don't know if y'all was even to say, but to see. But this is the outfit, and I love it. It's super cute. This one's also giving me witchy vibes because when I see people with like the witch costumes, I feel like they have those tutus and I feel like this cute little faux leather skirt is giving tutu. And because it's up so high, it hides like my lower tummy and gives me a little waist. 
and the little sexiness of the sheer sleeves is a vibe but there's no buttons and it's not like the wig that i'm wearing you can't tell i don't think it's not like the wig that i'm wearing is long enough to hide that there are no buttons in this outfit ah oh, come on anyway i don't know so my thoughts on this are this outfit if i can figure out a way to close the shirt up because these buttons are much smaller those are tiny little loop buttons um what i love it it's cute and or this one this one but this one was so easy to put on that but this could be like a everyday work outfit so the good thing about that is that whenever i have to pick things for work i feel like i find new outfits so shop your closet people shop your closet but the last thing i'm gonna do and not for y'all is try on these dark opaque tights just to make sure they fit so i could wear that other dress if i need to and I still need to find a freaking needle and thread so that I can put on a button or at least a safety pin. I'll be back, y'all. Y'all, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's like 9.57. It's been a struggle. When I got off from showing y'all the outfits, I then went on a rant to go find the needle and thread. Still have not found the needle and thread. And I really want to wear that little dress that needs the little button because I know I'm not going to find small buttons for the back of that shirt. So in the meantime, I done found everything <laughs> but the needle and thread. And I'm going to show y'all in a minute what I found. And then I'm going to show you what I got set up so that I can be ready to go tomorrow. I absolutely need to wake up early tomorrow because just putting on them tights was... Because I tried on the black tights just to make sure they fit. Because if you have an idea of an outfit you want to wear, please put the whole thing on. Because you're going to be hella mad when you put it on the day and if like nothing looks right. So they do fit a little tighter than the gray ones, but they work. <laughs> Let me show y'all what I'm thinking. This is what I would like to wear. And actually, while I was searching for the needle and thread, I found this cute, like, it seems like it goes with the vibe, uh, bracelet. And then I also found these snake earrings that are silverish, but that's okay. And they also go with the vibe. Um, there goes the tights on the side. So what I've decided is... <laughs> And then I was like, oh, girl, you could just take the top button off. Oh, where's the top button? The top button off and sew it down there so you know that the button will work if I ever find my needle and thread because I'm not giving up yet. But on the off chance that I don't, I can always just wear it with the belt. Or I was like, I can always just take the skirt and put it on top of the top and on top of this dress because this dress is kind of shorter and this is longer and just wear them as a set. Always an option, y'all. Always an option. So let me show y'all what... I set up so that in the morning I'm also not scrambling because I think I'm gonna put on just like foundation and some contour. I've got my little corner set up with lashes, uh, highlights, some eyeshadow option, contour, my base, uh, the eyelash glue, the brushes, like hmm, y'all, yeah, the foundation. I am trying to be ready. Y'all already know the shoot. So it's ten. It is not ten thirty. Uh, that alarm it must be a 30 minute alarm it's 10 o'clock now so it's 10 o'clock so let's head downstairs let me show y'all what else i found um just garbage all the stocking stuff and all the other bed is cleared off so y'all see that we put everything back i gotta bring this because i don't have that much should be enough though i need to take off this nail polish and paint all the nails black i found this while i was searching i was like this could go underneath the sink in the kitchen i think on one of the doors i think i used to have it in my bathroom but i think it'd be good in kitchen sink this i washed need to go downstairs and look it's the felt that i had bought to put on the bottom of those lamps now i found it now we can finally do that project i'm bringing it back downstairs so let's go ahead and head back downstairs y'all with all my finds <laughs> and we could uh figure out what we're doing down there we need to do the console table because tomorrow's halloween <laughs> we don't have anything and we're not doing too much so let me just do it and get it out of the way and also have meat to season up as well okay i made it downstairs y'all oh this is not the kind of day i like it is absolutely is it even raining Oof. this is the kind of day where i like to stay in my house because Nobody's trying to be out here in the rain. But I think I have to do my 
dad's invoices. If my mom would come in clutch and do them today, that would be really great. Because I really don't. But I do need to go see my grandma. Uh, I don't think I told y'all, but uh, my uncle died. And we found out in the beginning of the week. But he's not like an uncle that I know well. So for me, it didn't really hit me as bad. But of course, my grandmother lost a son. And she's been losing children left and right. She's like 80-something. So a lot of her kids are passing away before her. But that sucks. And um, I think he was 70-something. And... My mom, of course, lost a brother. I called everybody and checked on everybody, but I think I need to show my face. Let's give my Grammy a hug and whatnot. What I told y'all about that gray hair. The absolute disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> it is whatever. Um, And yeah, so I need to go over there, but I'm not trying to be there all day, y'all. But I like to try and get up early and get what I'm doing in my house done. Okay, so down here is a little messy, but I am not even here for it today right now. So let's just talk about what we do have. So I have these, which, and the the fork needs to go into the gar the garbage, into the sink. Um, right now, I'm just putting these on the top. But to be honest, to be honest, I can't wait to, to like reorganize over in here because they need bins and baskets so that it looks so much more organized and i'm not talking clear ones <laughs> the little felt things um i'm gonna put it in one of the buckets underneath here just to know where it is y'all remind me it's in the bucket down there <laughs> and i'm like what did i do with it and this is so heavy duty my gosh i feel like i bought this somewhere like bed, bed and beyond. And for now, I'll use one to sink. I don't put this on the door, like so, like that. Nice. Free organization that we already had. Pants is drying on the counter. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna probably um, hang them because they're actually getting super dry. I'm gonna flip them first, let them sit out here for a little bit, and then I'm probably gonna hang them and put them in there. In there. Oh, so I need to sit down and make a to-do list. But remember this little stylus thing that I showed y'all? I got from. Um, I still don't know where the. Oh. There it is. I'm like, I still don't know where the flathead and all that is. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Either way, put this back down. Um, the stylus part does work for my Amazon Fire. So, um, I was trying to make like to do's or use a schedule thing in here. I will say though that, baby, it is not the cutest thing. It does not write the nicest, but it does write. I don't I don't think this particular thing was made for writing or a stylus. So I am considering getting a like a Samsung Galaxy tab on sale. Maybe. Because I also want a laptop. So I want a lot. And uh the money though. So these are stuff that I wanted to do today, but the way this is looking like chicken scratch right now, I'm going to go and get me a notepad and write down my to-do list because there is an actual pen on this unit, so that's kind of cool. I need a to-do list because I'll be feeling like I'm not getting anything done, but and it's already 10 weights. But I know I did stuff, so and in order for to keep myself motivated, I need to keep track of what I'm doing. So let me start talking and find my notebook, which I know I have.
right guys so i'm done with that honestly i wanted to flip the page and keep going but i know i can overwhelm myself by doing that so i did not want to do that i was using my ol book i have so many stickers it's ridiculous like <laughs> for somebody who doesn't like pa only to do lists do i really like paper but if i found a good digital option i would do it but i want my digital option to have stickers anyway so i might have to work on my own digital thing <laughs> uh 10 30 22 it's the date and so i've got lots of things on my list so let's review so i can check stuff off are you guys the type of people who write your to-do list and you write like if you don't do it in the very beginning like when you start writing oh i need to paint my nails see what i'm talking about i need a whole new page because i saw it in the camera so are you the type of person that writes the things you actually have already done down so that you can check them off i do that because they count so wake up and then thank god is right next to it yes i'm awake and then spread the bed did that shower did that it's important y'all some people don't even be showering <laughs> pick out the halloween fit we did that together and set up the makeup for tomorrow we did that find the needle and thread still on the hunt upload the youtube video i need to add cards and links and things like that to the youtube video it's already edited so i need to add those things and then upload it um season the chicken season the beef go to the parents house and do my daddy's invoices and expenses um get toppings for the tacos I want to put chips next to it because <laughs> I want some chips and dip, but I think I got like $20 left, so I don't know in my food budget. Decorate the console table and paint over that bird photo. I got a lot on this list. Paint my nails. Straighten up. There's so much else I wanted to add, but let's get those things done because on the top of my priority was making sure I was ready for our Halloween party tomorrow as well as making sure I had lunch options and food options although oh my god mm -mm, i almost forgot i have to pick up cookies for the hot look that is a priority that should have been on the the first page oh, i be having too much let me look at this list that i made on here first because i think i added some of those things to this list okay november budget sure i didn't do november budget jesus I don't know if I could do that today, but I need to add it to my list. This might be a weekly list. November budget. And the November. So I've been good. There's a short idea I have, but it has a song on it that I don't know. I don't know. Like Christians are supposed to be listening to. I don't know, but I think it's funny and I think it's a cute little short. So the taco season chicken, which costume, what the heck did I write? Uh, find something mm -mm. <laughs> Make, oh find your makeup find your witch makeup buy cookies see i remember that there i need to call my best friend clean up clean up november budget okay so i got most of that <laughs> now i have what was on that list so i'm on page two so we ain't got no time to talk baby it's 10 to 16. let us work on that back wall because there's not much to do there all right so this is what we're working with to update the console table nothing too crazy we've got some spider webs that i got from work for free um because they decorate and she's like we have so much and so this ten dollars is from this skeleton that we're gonna put up here this is the cutest little black and white coming, as y'all know, it's $5.99. It was from, I don't know, but Marshall Home is one of them. And we have these that we had from last year. These spiders are, were from Walmart, were $1.98. And then we have some themed candles that we can use. We've got a pumpkin and we've got a boo and they both have little things on it so these were i don't know where the prices on them I'm sure they weren't that expensive they were from like home goods or wherever so i don't know what price is but yep that is what we're working with that's it we're not doing anything too crazy so first thing i think i want to do is go ahead and um 
set up my guy. I think I'm going to take this down, put this on the floor. Initially, I wanted to do a dry branches in it, like dead dry branch, but I don't have any and I don't see any and I'm not buying any. So. Okay, guys, so it's 1046 and we're done. So let me show y'all. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> I love it. It's super simple, but this cobwebs really helps set it off. And I made sure not to put cobwebs <laughs> on top of like the flames so that nothing catches on fire. And I'll make sure to come back and show y'all what it looks like in the evening with like everything lit up. Four things to add to the kitchen so I'm just taking my little basket with me now that actually has fall stuff in it and just do that real quick because I think I'm running out of room you guys I need a different way because <laughs> because I'm always running out of room on this phone all right 
fall update in the kitchen is going to be super de duper de basic. Let me show you. There's one, two, three, four, five, six things that are going in. So I wish I hadn't bought him. He's a little scary. <laughs> so there's him. He's going in. He's going in. He's going in. He's, oh, those two were from the Dollar Tree. This I already had. This I had, and it literally still has a tag on it. And these two I bought this year. I forget how much he was, but he was from like Home Goods. I want to say $9.99. And then the Boo Spoon was $4.99 from Home Goods or one of them too. So that's it. That's all I'm doing. So let me let y'all see real quick. So that is all of our decor updates for Halloween in the house, I believe. We used all of our things. That one, we didn't buy a lot, and we used everything. So let's go with that premise in the future. Buy minimally <laughs> and then use it all. Um, I am going to probably do a... I'm going to get off of here so I can take a couple shots of it so that I can post as, like, shorts because I was watching, I think, Hands and Bands, and she was like, shorts really help your channel grow. So, y'all know we're trying to get to 1K and above and beyond. Infinity and beyond. So, if you guys want to add shorts to your channel, it might be a good idea. You'll see me coming out with a few here and there. Okay, I got, uh, I got a few for the shorts. Look how cool it looks back right there. I got a few for the shorts, and I'm going to wait till nighttime to get a few night pics for the shorts when everything's lit up as well. I'm going to try... Oh, so what I'm going to do next, looking at my list, because we can mark off, decorate for console table and also switch out the decor in the kitchen is marked off so next priority on this list of things is going to be seasoning up the chicken and seasoning up the beef so I'm gonna head in the kitchen and do that because I don't want to use up all the space I'm probably not I'm just gonna do like a before and after plus everybody seasons food differently y'all don't you just see me season stuff um if I had more space I would let y'all watch clearly but you know, it'd be like this sometimes. But the chicken and the beef have been out overnight, so they're well thawed out. That Jamaican sometimes. And so I'm going to rinse the chicken off with some vinegar, clean it, make sure all the extra skin is off, and then I'm just going to do probably garlic and all that stuff um, and let it brine because I think I'm going to put it in the air fryer so I don't need to do, like, slices of onions and peppers and all that. So I'm just going to dry season it. And as far as the beef, I'm cooking it down for tacos. And I do want to start using more like turkey and stuff, but I'm using what I had. And so grass-fed ground beef is what I had because I like my grass-fed ground beef and I'm going to season that up as well. But I'll add more like cumin and things like that because I'm thinking taco. So let me go wash my hands, get that done, and I'll let y'all see when it's done. So this is the beef seasoning mix. And this is the chicken season mix. I usually like take out everything in my cupboard and then pick and choose from what I want and mix it up in these little bowls. I love this set of bowls. I got them on Black Friday and they come with little tops as well from Walmart. And I think it was, I think they were $10 y'all for the whole set. It came with three other different sizes, bowls with covers. And then I want to say one, two, four of these small bowls with four covers if you season things or mix stuff or just like leave your stuff in the fridge i love that they have a cover you don't have to waste no foil no saran wrap you just cover it up but just thought of it thought y'all should know all right let me get to the seasoning y'all almost died like i was going to get the last paper towel and i was looking to myself like oh i need to get more paper towel and i'm walking to come over to the kitchen and the little lawnmower Hence why it's out there. It tripped me. And I was like down the count over there. Down for the count. That's why I used to little flowers over there. I knocked over the girl. I'm looking at myself. And I sat there and I was looking at myself like, do we have all our toes? Do we have all our fingers? Do we feel like we're bleeding? Oh my God. I was like, oh no. Do I need life alert? <laughs> I think I might need life alert. I live alone. My phone was on the counter. How would I reach it if I had fell down and couldn't get up? 
I'm not even kidding, like for real. Anyway, I wanted to show y'all that I was done. Chicken is seasoned, it's going in the fridge. And ground beef is seasoned and going in the fridge. I am going to now, cause like my phone is like running out of space. I'm gonna go sit down on the couch after my fall. <laughs> and I'm going to see what information I need. Ooh, those foods are so seasoned. Um. I'm gonna see what I need in order to get that last video I edited uploaded so I can delete the footage off my phone. I'm trying to put the meat away and talk to y'all at the same time. Let me get that footage off my phone so I can get some space back. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's probably gonna take an hour. And then after that, I need to write. That list is about to end up being for the whole week. I need to write down that I need to break down those boxes, which is garbage night, so don't you even do it. <clears throat> I really should attempt to get that done today, but my garbage never really gets super full, so. Break down boxes. Okay, so um, I'm going to work on that now. And I'm also going to probably make a small miniature list to put on my phone of what I want to pick up for the tacos, like lettuce, tomato, and probably some Tostito chips to put on the side or some Salsito chips to put on the side and maybe some salsa. That's I mean, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, and I'm thinking, I'm debating whether I need to go to Walmart or if I need to go to Kroger because... Walmart might be cheaper, but sometimes Walmart don't just have the shredded lettuce. And all I want is like a little bag of shredded lettuce. Anyway, I'm talking too much. That's what I'm about to work on. If y'all don't see me for a bit. It's now 1138. 17.38. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, bye. I've got music to read. So I thought y'all knew. How about you guys? I just realized before I even start my editing. I just remembered. I think I saw $60 come off of my... um credit card for that home chef which I forgot about I need to go cancel that because I wanted to have it done once a month maybe I won't cancel it I just need to plan better for it um but now I'm like am I getting food here delivered this Sunday because if so then I have more food to make which is good that just means I should not have I should not be spending any money on food this week you hear me <laughs> none but I probably wouldn't have prepped two meats had I remembered that We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Hey y'all, how about I I had my hat on and it fell out of my head. I just wanted to make sure it was gonna stay up because I didn't want to accidentally like do anything weird with it, like steam it and mess it up. It fell off my head, I didn't even feel it. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Um, but I do like it. I think I'm gonna wear it this way, although I think it's supposed to be worn this way. Mm, no. <laughs> I like it this way. <laughs> um, but I finished uploading that video, added all the IG links to the people and their websites from the pop-up shop. So feel good about that. Uh, it's now uploading. So until it's completely uploaded, I now says I only have 13 minutes on this phone. So uh, I made my list also, put in my phone for things I wanted to pick up at the Kroger because I forgot that I had to get those cookies. And I think I'd rather get the cookies from Kroger than Walmart. So I'm probably going to go to the Kroger after I leave my parents' house. And so while I wait for this video to upload, I am going to um, completely upload to Instagram. It's uploaded to the phone. I'm transferring it and uploading it to Instagram. Waiting for it to upload to Instagram. Once it's uploaded to Instagram, then I can delete all those files out of my phone. And I'm going to charge my phone up for a little bit because I think we're down to 60, well, 65% right now. We're at 65% and I figured now would be a good time to take all the nail polish off my fingers so that when I sit down for a like break at the end of the day, I can just paint my nails in peace. Luckily for me, I have, when I had spray painted this, I had filled it with the stuff too. So I'm just going to use some of that to take the nail polish off while I wait for the phone to charge and that to upload once that's done. And then I'm going to head to my parents' house, do the invoice, see if I can get in and out of there because I really do need to come back and cook. I also need to figure out what's going on with my home chef order. 
Usually it delivers on Sunday, but I haven't seen it yet. <sighs> All of that. Okay, y'all. What y'all think about my hat? Maybe I'm supposed to wear it like this. I don't know. Don't think it like this. She's kind of for. Oh. We're gonna wear it on the gangsaline like that. No, let me go, y'all. We're, we're ready out of room. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. So I'm at my parents' house. Look, I painted the nails. Can I tell y'all I sat? Well, I painted one nail, one set of nails. These are still not painted. I might wear out from just like that. But these ones are painted. And do you know that I sat for an hour as to not to try and smudge them up and still somehow it smudged? I was like, you know what? It's okay. They're for witches. Witches don't care. Um, however, I'm at my parents. You guys, I sat there for an hour and as soon no lie, this is not even an exaggeration. Literally a minute or two after I left my house, the delivery with the food came. Who was gonna turn back around? I just turned on the main road and it's a left onto the main road and it's a pain in the butt to go left on that main road. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm leaving it right there. It has ice packs, it's gonna be fine. Hopefully nobody touches it. Um my I was calling, I was on the phone with my dad to see like if the invoices were ready can i tell y'all that he said yes and everything and as i was backing out to close my door why is there a real spider in my fake spider webs on the door i almost ran screaming chat i was like oh my god <sighs> and right now in my house it feels like everything is out of place or out of whack i keep literally walking into things that i'm not supposed to be walking into I need a whole reset. I almost wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow, but it's Halloween or whatever. But I need to plan a Monday or a Friday off so I can have a day to myself. I, I feel it in my shot now. Anyway, I'm at the parents' house, and I'll, I'll, I'll check back in with y'all. The other video is already uploaded, so I can delete that and have some more space. So if I find any time. I hope you don't think I'm going to be here all day. Honestly, I love them. But I got to go in and out today because I got to do those invoices, show my mama something, and then I have to go because I still have to go to Kroger to get the stuff for the tacos. And I still need to go to Kroger to get the cookies for work. And I'm probably only going to cook the ground beef because even though the chicken just throw it in the bag, I don't need to cook it right now. I can cook it tomorrow. And I'm not going to stress myself out. Just had to show y'all two of my faves. Baby Boo, Ray Ray, and Granny. Grammy trying to clean up after Baby was eating. And she was jamming. There was music playing. But again, that's why I'm talking because of copyright. Two hours later. <laughs> you guys, I just got to the Kroger. And it is raining. Like, really raining. Before it was just drizzling. Now it's really raining. What is going on today? What is going on? So, I guess we're just going to be singing in the rain because we got to go. And the sooner we go, the sooner we get out. It's 4.08. 4.08. Still need to make my food. Still need to paint the other hand. If I get those two things done, I'll be doing good at this point for real. Um, the faster you get out, Tara, the faster you'll be done. Just gonna get wet. That's it. It is what it is, sis. It is what it is. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> For the rain cocaine. So excited. <laughs> Not that I ain't finna get wet, but at least I'm gonna get super wet. Just wanted to let y'all know I found my rain in the back. I'm home, you guys. I was moving around, taking my garbage out. Because I brought the garbage bags down, but I was walking in the house and the freaking spider is still on my door. Right there. You see him? He's like in my wreath. Is he kidding me? This is not your web. This is my web. And there is my order. <laughs> I want y'all to see the address, but there's my order. I gotta go back out there to get this. And take my garbage out and I'm really terrified. Like, why? That's not even a regular spider. That's some really long leg ones. I guess I could spray them then. It's gonna be stinky spray all over my wreath. Uh, this is not my day. <laughs> and I'm hungry. It's 4.49 and I still haven't eaten. And I still gotta make good food. Somebody come help me. Yeah, that was super stressful. <laughs> super stressful. It's rainy and it's 4.53. It's about to be 5 o'clock. I haven't eaten yet. But I want to show y'all what I picked up from Kroger. I spent a total of $28 even. $28, such a weird amount. But, um, like, 
seven or eight of those dollars were on something for the job. So I took that out of the gift fund. I don't even think I bought that much stuff. I don't understand. A lot of things I bought to stay on budget were the Kroger brand. So this is Kroger tortilla chips, 100% white corn. This is with the hint of lime. I love the Tostitos with the hint of lime, so I hope that those are good. I picked up some Kroger brand sweet Thai, sweet chili sauce, Thai inspired. I'm thinking I might put this on the chicken when I cook the chicken because I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I ran out of Thai sauce. And I love my Asian food, so I should never run out of those. I picked up some bananas because the potassium level <laughs> needs to be worked on. I had some, I have some. See, here's the $28. It's just showing. I saved $5.20, so $28 right there. I also picked up these um, Kroger tortillas. I did not know till I just looked at the receipt. I was like, why was this? Because when I calculated, it was 27 and I was over calculating everything. So I didn't understand why it was 28. But these that I thought were only going to be like $1.99 or $2 were actually $3.49, $3.50. Hence where that extra dollar and some change came from. But they are the six net carb soft tortillas. These are actually carb balanced. I didn't realize that Kroger offered this. I was just looking for the regular degla. I'm happy I got it, but it's cheaper than the actual uh, other mission brand. So these are on sale. These tomatoes. So these are the kind I'm going to use. Because I find them easier to chop up. They were only $1.99. I think the bananas cost me like 69 cents. Um, this I think was $1.99. We were not buying things on sale. Then I also found the private selection, which is funny because the tomatoes are also private selection brands. Um, these, the salsa, ranchero salsa, ran, roasted country style. I don't like thick, chunky, and this one looks like it's really blended out. So I'm really happy about that. And this was one of the cheaper options in the salsa department this is what blew me i was just like really this shredded lettuce okay i remember buying shredded lettuce for like 99 cents to a dollar something shredded lettuce and this is the kroger brand was like two dollars and 29 cents for wait for what some lettuce oh i was so mad and that's pretty much all I bought for... Oh, no, I ended up buying myself cookies. So I bought cookies because I initially was going to buy these for work. They're on sale for $3.99. They were originally like $5.49. But I'm going to keep these for me because I ended up buying the cake for work instead. Because I felt like I didn't want to just buy cookies. I feel like everybody's going to have cookies. So I bought this vanilla. These cakes are delicious. This vanilla, like, pound type of cake. I think it was also on sale. It was normally $8.99, but I think I got it for $6.99. So I use that as giving because we have a Halloween party tomorrow. And people are cooking, but I'm so sorry. I'm not eating nobody's food. That's just who I am. I don't eat nobody's food for the most part unless I know you or I know your habits. Like you wash your hands, your cat's not on your counter while you cook. Like things like that. Um, so I'm just bringing packaged food because that's probably what I'll be eating unless I know what you have. Like there's two or three people there that I know I can eat from cause I've eaten from them before. Um, let me show you what came in my home chef package. The one I completely forgot was coming and let's see what I bought. Cause of course I forgot what I bought. Okay, so I took my three meals out. This one is barbecue pulled pork tacos. Ooh, ooh, more tacos. <laughs> barbecue pulled pork tacos. Of course, the meat is still in the box. It's below. Um, I don't see the little card, but okay. Um, then I also got some creamy salsa chicken enchiladas. Mm, I, I think some of the ones I bought that were like in these little containers were the quick and easy meals. So, oh, I'm so excited. These are supposed to be the ones that are like, you put them in the oven real quick and they're like pretty much prepped for you. And then I picked up, this doesn't look like that kind, but this is Italian sausage campanella, 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 I don't know. Listen, that's what it says. I don't even remember. But oh, that sounds like something I would have picked. <laughs> so <laughs> then I'm going to grab the meat out of the bottom of the box and that's it, y'all. So let me go put these things away and then get my ground beef in the 
hot because your girl is actually getting hungry. It is officially five o'clock. Five o'clock, gonna die. I'm in my kitchen upside down time showing you. Mm -mm -mm. I'm done. I'm about to show you my food. It's like giving Mexican restaurant in my house. And I'm gonna mark off what else I did because didn't find any little thread and I went to my parents' house. I should ask my mom. She probably had it. Um, I did upload a YouTube video. I did season chicken. I did season beef. I did my dad's invoices. I got the toppings for the tacos. Didn't paint over that bird stuff. But that wasn't a priority priority. I painted half my nails, so I'm going to paint my nails after I'm done. Pick up straighten up. Pick up the cookies. I did get the cookies. Didn't do the November budget. There's a few things I didn't do, but I got a lot done. So I'm very proud of myself for getting the majority of my list complete today. Um, let me show you all my food. I'm going to eat my food, and once I've settled down and all that, then I'm going to paint the other half of the nails. <laughs> and yeah, here's... So those are my tacos, my ground beef, lettuce, tomato, cheese. That dollar store little handheld grater is like the best thing ever. It's the littlest thing, easy to watch, and I don't have to pull out the big boy grater. It's the best for individual servings. And then a dollop of daisy and some salsa. And then I have my Kroger um, toast tortillas with henna lime and that is the salsa right there just the way I like it mushy I know a lot of people like to have their salsa really chunky I'm not that girl I barely like onions and peppers crunch in my ear so definitely don't like that but okay guys so uh, that is it y'all that's it for me today other than painting the rest of my nails I think I'm down for the count I'm gonna probably take out a few more things out to the garbage maybe I'll even break down some of those boxes but as for now we did a lot today, I feel. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, orders be great. Chance be grateful. I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I hope you got some things done today. Remember, faith over fear, y'all. And also, things are always working out for good for those who believe. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye!